In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the vertical effect like this in Premiere Pro 2020. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. If you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. The vertical effect has been around for a long time. It's been in movies like Jaws and Poltergeist. And there's a lot of stuff that actually goes into it, but I'm going to show you how to fake it really easy in Premiere Pro. So I'm going to start off this tutorial by already having my clip drop down into the timeline and the editing tab already opened up. One thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want to shoot your video in 4K. In order to fake it, we're going to be doing some zooming in and if you use like 1080p or 720p and zoom in, your quality is probably going to look really bad and the effects going to not look as good as it would with 4K footage. So the first thing I'm going to do is let you watch this clip, let it play through real quick. And as you can see, yeah, the clip looks pretty good, but there's a way that we can make it look a lot better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the start of my timeline. And then I'm just going to go up here to scale. I'm going to click the stopwatch and then I'm going to change this to 150 and you don't have to change it to 150. You kind of want to play around with this to basically suit whatever your clip looks like and just play with this and it make it look the way that you want it to look. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to click on this add keyframe button and then I'm going to change this to 100. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and play it back. And now you can see it's starting to look pretty good. One of the things that I like to do as well is I like to speed up the clip a little bit to make it look a little bit more faster. And that usually makes the effect pop that much more. So what I'll do to speed up the clip, I'm just going to press R on the keyboard. I'm just going to bring up this little indicator here. And I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm just going to drag it to the length that I want it to be right there is fine and then I'll play this back and it's gonna look like so continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything I'll see you in the next video